What up, Pan Dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself this Thorfire PF04 pen flashlight. You know I like flashlights. This one's from Thorfire Direct. You can get it on Amazon, I believe, which is where I got mine. And what I like is, uh, you know, having light, seeing what's going down in the world. But what I have is a lot of larger flashlights. I don't have a lot of pocketable flashlights. Even the ones that are pocketable are kind of odd shaped. This one is cool because it is definitely a pen light and it's actually not much different in shape than a real traditional pen. It even has a pen clip here. Uh, very good resistance, should clip in a pocket or you know on your shirt securely. Very thin, the only real difference is this kind of flares out a little bit to house that LED element, which you can see right there. Uh, and, you know, so where a pen would be a little kind of thinner and, and narrow down, that's not the case here. Up here, there's a little bit of knurling on the, 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 the back end of it, and then you do have your rubberized uh, click button right there. So. I'm going to figure out how it works here. If I take off this end, which looks like it unscrews, looks like I can put my batteries right in there. And let's do that and try to figure out if this bad boy is worth its weight. So the pen light does take two AAA batteries, which I have here, and I'm going to do them with uh, the positive end out towards the lens. I think that's the way it probably should go. The other thing I'll note here is that there are two extra O-rings included. So there is one right here. You might be able to see it. Um, on this end that screws down to not only to keep the this end from twisting off but to keep it waterproof but then I'm assuming the back end somehow twists off too maybe it maybe it doesn't oh well it doesn't seem to so that's cool you got a couple extra o-rings now as you saw it's already on so there are pretty pretty awesome output from this Thor fire if I click it again, on and off, on and off. All right, so I actually turned most of the lights off in here because I wanted to show you one last thing that I'm missing with the lights on, and it's called Firefly mode. So if I turn the flashlight on, I'm actually in Firefly mode, and with the lights on, it's almost impossible to see it. And here, if I kind of scroll through the mode, there's one, there's the low Firefly mode, which in, um, in a lighted conditions, it's almost impossible to see. And then there's my low mode. So high, firefly, low. And so what I thought was off in between was actually firefly. So if we get back there, what you can see is this is good for maybe map reading, uh, looking at a watch, you know, things right up close and personal. And it's so low. I mean, I know it looks like bright when I shine it here, but as you can see, it is really, really light, which is great. And so you actually have a bunch of modes. Now, the other thing I will show you is that this flashlight has memory. So if I'm on Firefly mode here and I turn it off, and then I turn it back on, it always goes back to Firefly mode. If I toggle it to medium and turn it off, now I turn it back on, it always comes back to the same setting that I turned it off on, which is nice. So memory is really, really awesome. I wish more flashlights had it. So let's go ahead and take this outside and see how it works. All right, guys, so out here in the backyard, and I've got my Thor fire. I'm going to just turn it on here. Um, and I'm not actually sure which mode this is right now. But there's the low mode, so I guess I was on high. And low is actually perfect for walking around here and actually maybe not disturbing everyone in the world. Uh, but when I turn it on high, you can see, man, wow, that is pretty bright. And... You can probably see here if I get my hand out of the way. There's some trees out here. I can see those just fine. And then even on, if I switch to the low mode, you can't see the trees, but as you can see, definitely 10, 15, 20 feet out, I have good illumination. Beyond the 20 foot mark, you're definitely gonna wanna put it on high, but for a pen light, I mean, seriously, this little bad boy is a pen light, man. I mean, this thing is wicked. So the Surefire uh, flashlight, man, I'm definitely gonna be, this in a lot of my pockets when I'm heading out. Very easy to take with me and a really sweet output. Get my panda out.